Congratulations to our high winner of the first hour, Dr. Faith Coleridge. <laughs> Gives me great pleasure to present a bottle of our finest New York State champagne. Oh, thank yeah. you. And since it's New York State's finest, I think I should thank one of New York City's finest, Jim Speed, of the New York City Police Department. He's the one who gave me the Delia dollar that started my Wheel of Fortune spinning. Oh. Thank you. One more. One more announcement to make. It gives me great pleasure to announce that my wife, Siobhan, of whom I'm always proud, has made me even prouder today. Siobhan is a candidate for the police academy, and today she passed her agility test. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hour two is about to begin. Place your bets, please. So you see, sweetheart, Mama has to go out tonight because she's got to get a job. She's going to a fancy party at the Monte Carlo room. <laughs> I know the owner there. And I'm going to ask him for a job so that we can have lots of money to support you until I get an acting job. I bet you didn't know your mama was an actress, did you? Someday, you're going to see me on stage. And you're going to be proud of me. <laughs> and I'm going to see you in the audience, and I'm going to throw you a very special kiss. But right now, I've got to go out and I've got to get a job so that I can work nights and take care of you. I know. Work nights and take care of you during the day. See, if I have the day free, I can go and meet producers and go to auditions and have lots and lots of time with my sweet Arlie. You're so sweetie. So now you understand why I have to go and leave you for just a little bit. Can you come up here? Give me, sweetheart. Oh, my. Yes. Oh, in the feathers with her, Mommy? I want you to be such, yeah, look at that. Such a good, I know, oh, sweetie. A good little girl and sleep tight? <laughs> yes, until your Mommy gets home. Okay? I'll get you a blanket. Rattle so you don't feel unhappy. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. I love you, Arlie. Today's episode, the part of Alexei Vartuba, will be played by Leonardo Cimino. While EJ fights to survive, I see the boat. A father vows vengeance. Who did it? But he's not the only one with a score to settle. I'm gonna make you pay for what you've done to Sammy. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. He has two women who love him. And two little girls that really need him. I can't do this without you. You hate us, Newmans. I like you. Stay away from me, Doria. Cancer is spreading. I'll be there for you. What if Luke Spencer met Victoria Banks? Chin Chin. 
bit early for that, isn't it? Apparently, it isn't too early for judgment. What is now playing at ABC.com and SoapNet.com. Well, they're gonna need binders, dividers, no pad chop. Crayons, highlighters, job pack of socks. Flip flops, smocks, sneakers, maybe hot tops. T shirts, tank tops, superhero lunchbox. Calculator, paper, one of these things. Erasers, staple, cute girl bikinis. Backpacks, pencils, gym bags, stencils, glue sticks, paper clips, box of brief snack mix. Fruit of the Loom is a vital school supply. It won't cost you much in your kids. They're gonna look real fly. Well, I've been on dates before where all they could talk about was how they climbed Everest without oxygen or whatever it happens to be that they think will impress you. You really realise you know nothing about this person and then it turns out after the first, ooh, minute or something, you're thinking, I really don't want to be here. You don't have that, that level of pressure on you when you go on a date from eHarmony because you know so much about the person and you can just chat like you're kind of friends. Review all your matches for free at eHarmony.com. Every month, millions of women have perfectly normal periods. Every woman's experience is a little different, but every month, millions of other women don't have normal periods. They have unusually heavy periods. The fact is, they might have heavy monthly bleeding, a treatable medical condition also known as menorrhagia. So how much is too much? If you have heavy menstrual bleeding that's disruptive or gets in the way of your day-to-day -day activities, learn more. Call 1-800-871-8086. Or visit lighterperiod.com or talk to your doctor. Only your doctor can diagnose heavy menstrual bleeding, so ask about options to treat heavy flow. You can also learn more in this free guide. Find out about heavy monthly bleeding or menorrhagia, when to see a doctor, and what treatment options are available. Visit lighterperiod.com or call 1-800-871-8086 to get the facts on heavy monthly bleeding or menorrhagia. After all, millions of women have normal periods. Why couldn't you be one of them? Hello there. Have some champagne. Let me show you around. Right over this way, we have the gambling tables. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this party was ruined the minute it was started. I was looking forward to having a good time and enjoying myself, you know. Honey, I know that, and you worked very hard, but look yes, at the I results. Am. Everyone's having a good time. I mean, that's what we're in business for. Everybody has fun. Well, I didn't go into business to give a bottle of free champagne to somebody who can't even drink it. She wins everything, Bobby, and it's not fair. Honey, especially... please, don't start the sob story again. This is where I keep it. I'm surprised. I've got a feeling. If I hit that wheel right there, now, I just might top your winnings. <laughs> you think so? Well, good luck. <laughs> Go get him. If he does win, I hope they give him a steak instead of this. <laughs> to add to your collection, enjoy. Oh, thank you. Well, only if it's used to wash down an appropriately elegant dinner with an equally elegant dinner companion. Where would you like to dine? Uh, I hear the word dine. Uh, yeah, dine. I guess it's the classy surroundings. I usually say eat. Well, dine, eat. What's the difference? I just know this lady just won a jackpot. Maybe we can collect our dinner debt. I think it's time for the Coney Island 3 to strike again. Uh, sure, whenever... They... That's right. See, you guys plied me down with hot dogs and popcorn. And then you paid all my expenses. And then you filled my house with stuffed poodles, snakes, bears. Now, I think it's time I do return the favor. Well, let's plan it now. <laughs> Okay. okay, I guess you do owe us a pizza or something like that. A pizza? With champagne? Come on, this lady's loaded. You bet I am, yes, and I will do it right. What do you guys say if we get reserve a table upstairs for the three of us sometime next week? Your night off, hmm? Now you're talking. I know the manager. He'll get us a good spot. Uh, well, Bob, that'd be kind of a busman's holiday for you, won't it? That's right. I love every minute of it. Well, I was all ready to settle down on that hard table for the night. <laughs> then I thought to myself, well, I'll give it one more try. And that's when Father Emmerich came along and heard me. Truly an angel guided my hand when I left my prayer book in the vestibule. Otherwise, I wouldn't have found Mrs. Ryan until morning. Oh, I think I would have survived, Father. <laughs> but I would have missed all this pleasure. Joseph, can you imagine? You'd go into all this trouble and me not showing up. Well, the important thing is that you're here and you're okay. What about that eerie feeling you had all day that, that somebody was following you? Tell Joe about that. Oh, John, I don't have any proof of that. It was just a silly notion that anyone was there. Anyone was where? Well, 
I was in and out of the house all day, and every time I would be walking down the street, I just had this strange feeling that someone was behind me, someone was following me. There wasn't anyone, of course. But I had this sensation that there was someone around the curve of my eye. But when I would turn around and look, there wasn't anyone there. It was just a, a trick that my mind was playing on me. It was silly to go on about it, John. Now, don't you look worried. It's not silly, Ma. It's possible you were being followed. And whoever it was who was following you could have locked you into that church room. You go out all the time. Why did you suddenly have that feeling today and in your own neighborhood? I don't know. Just an uneasiness has been with me all day, that's all. Not everything we perceive comes to us through our eyes. Before Ma got home and when Don and I didn't know where she was, the first thought that went through our minds was the incident on Jack's roof over at his place. We were worried. We were worried there might be some connection between us that you might be in danger. Oh, Don, that was an entirely different thing, really. Well, it was Jack's place, yes, it was Jack's setup, but you were there too, Ma. And the connection between you could be known by somebody. Whoever was shooting at Jack on that rooftop was using real bullets, lady. But, Ma, I just want you to be aware of the possibility of that connection. This might be a scare tactic. This could be a warning. Frank's right. It could be a warning. You're saying that none of us that are connected to Jack are safe until he's safe. Looks like the Ryans are having a little private game of their own. No, but something's up. I wish I knew what they were talking about. I passed by, they look so gloomy. Yeah, well, I'll find out. I'll be right back. Wait a minute, Jack. Until your break time, you can't just leave from behind the bar to go mingle with the guests. I mean, if anybody should be able to do that, it should be I, as hostess and part owner. But I don't even have a minute to breathe in myself. So, I expect you not to be able to do the same. But you see, I, I can't find Mrs. Bolak anywhere, and her baby won't stop crying. Now, if I could speak to Mrs. Ryan and tell her... Mrs. Shaw, I'm having trouble hearing you. What? No, no, I heard that. You can't find Mrs. Bowen. She probably just stepped out for a pack of cigarettes or something. I think she smokes, doesn't she? Well, I don't know. Now, oh, please, might I speak to Mrs. Ryan? I, I'm most upset about this. The baby is crying. <laughs> All newborn babies cry, right? I mean, you know that. That's no reason to bother Mrs. Ryan, who's had a long, hard day and came here for some fun and to get away from crying babies. So please, can't you handle it? Delia, Arlie isn't in my charge. I've been given no instructions, no explanations, nothing. I was only supposed to help Mrs. Bolak if she asked me to. Now, now, I can't presume with a premature baby whose mother just disappears. If I could please talk to Mrs. Ryan. Look, this party's in Mrs. Ryan's honor, and we don't want her to just uh, jump up and run out after she just got here. So wh why don't you call Dr. Bolak if you're so worried, because that's the baby's father. Welcome. I agree. Could be the same thing when Charlie went for me on the roof. But if it is, then they've gone too far. Jack, Jack, wait. I hear those little wheels turning around inside that head of yours. Don't do anything rash. You can't fight this alone, especially now if it's reaching out and touching all of us. And your legal position is tricky. Two murder raps, bribery suspicion. You've got to be careful. I haven't been charged. Well, it doesn't enhance your image. Jill's right. You've got to move carefully. But I won't keep the people I love from getting hurt. Thank you. I need to come to Rome to see you again. I'm engaged. This week. I would have stayed with you. I would have given up my life for you. The odds are against them. I had to flee the country on a charge of attempted murder. Will Sonny and Brenda get one more chance? Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Being a mother can be very rewarding. Motherhood changes everything. I fully believe in mother's intuition. I know when my baby just needs some mother love. One step at a time. That's what parenthood is, and motherhood especially. The View, weekdays only on ABC. Day after day, allergy season drags on. Oh, how many days are you going to suffer? 
Nasonex is the only prescription that's proven to help prevent most seasonal nasal allergy symptoms, including congestion, so you can have more symptom-free days. Side effects were generally mild and included headache, viral infections, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. It does not come in generic form, so ask your doctor about Nasonex. And save up to $15 off your refills. Go to nasonex.com for details, terms, and conditions. It's time to see pearls in a whole new light. Maybelline New York introduces color sensational pearls lip color. Micronized pearls create the most incredible luster. Honey nectar creates the most luscious feel. New color sensational pearls. As a mom, I believe books brighten a child's future. So join the Sunny D Book Spree. When your child's class collects 20 labels, they get 20 free books. Go to SunnyD.com and help us make classrooms sunnier. Look who's bringing Broadway to Hollywood for a special ABC daytime music event. October 7th, 9th, and 10th, join stars from All My Children in General Hospital. And here we are! As they perform music from Candor and Ebbs, the world goes round and give sneak peeks into upcoming storylines. Don't miss your chance to see this special event. Presented by ABC Daytime and the LA Gay and Lesbian Center's Lily Tomlin Jane Wagner Cultural Arts Program. For tickets and more info, go to abc.com or soapnet.com. This time I stay. I don't want you to back away. I'd like you to stay. You're all hard. But then I guess it's easy to be magnanimous when you've gotten everything you want. What I want is to try to be able to reach you again. Well, you can't have everything you want. You think you're ever going to stop being angry with me? I doubt it. But then I wouldn't waste too much thought on it. You've got enough people in your life to be concerned about. I, I saw that you, you came with somebody tonight, Mr. Speed. I, well, I thought the two of you looked comfortable together. I was hoping maybe that was somebody special for you. Why? So you can go after him too? Now I thought it was your style to wait till a couple of days before the wedding. Okay, there's no point to this. I guess Please. there's not. Don't go. Not like this. May, there was nothing more to say. Girls, out in that room, there must be close to a hundred people who are betting one against the other, hoping that they'll be the one to walk away from the table as the winner and leave everybody else there the losers. But that's games they're playing out there. This is not a game. We have such a short time together on this planet. No one knows the number of their days. It's time to mend fences. I'm trying. I'm willing. Well, I'm not. What's the use of mending a fence when you've already been thrown off the land? When there's absolutely nothing left to steal? I don't have to listen to this anymore. I'll see you outside, Mr. Fist. I have to say what I feel. Yes. And I cannot lie about my feelings, and I, I know I have a right to feel them. Caroline, I know that you've been terribly hurt and that you've dealt with all the pain by yourself. But Faith, it's time. It's time to put all those hard feelings away. Time heals and you just let it. And no matter how deep the wound is, it's got to be cleansed. You just can't let it go on. It'll fester. It'll poison you from the inside. No, nothing festers in me. Now I say what is on my mind loud and clear. I would have thought that by now you could have looked at the relationship that you and Francis had with some kind of objectivity. For whatever reason, it, it was the relationship that didn't hold. There was something between you and Francis that wasn't strong enough, darling. It wasn't Jill or anything she did. No, I'm sorry, I don't agree. Mm -mm. No, Jill decided she wanted him back. She went after him, and she got him. One, two, three. No subtlety. No hidden psychological reasons. She didn't get him. <laughs> they merely become friends again. Oh, is that what they call it? Is that why they came here tonight together? Is that why they're partners again? Yes, they're partners. They're professional partners again, for purely professional reasons. They, as far as tonight is concerned, they didn't come here together. 
No? Well, they will. Just give it time. Like you said, time heals. Jeez. What's important to me is that two sisters who have stood by one another and needed one another and given to each other, that the love that they have between them, it must not be destroyed. I don't have to love Jill. In fact, I, I don't even have to like her because she is not my sister. You grew up as sisters, <laughs> darling. You shared a childhood together. She is part of your most profound memories as you are part of hers. You mourned parents together. You, you just can't, you can't dismiss all of that. Oh, yes, I can, and I have. And to tell you the truth, I am relieved to have her out of my life. And I don't feel like that about Frank. No, I feel an absence with Frank. A very deep loss. But I don't know, maybe someday I will be able to forgive him. I don't know. But Jill, uh-uh, never. And nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Never. Darling, I will never again see my Mary on this earth. That's the terrible meaning of never. Maeve, I know you mean well, and I love you. But I don't think that the two of us should discuss this subject because we don't see eye to eye on it. And I don't think we ever will. So excuse me. trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Want to know how your favorite soap stars made it big? Check out the road to stardom on SoapNet.com. This is my road. From first gigs. Super clean hair with no ouches. <laughs> to big breaks. I booked a series called Edgemont. I booked a role on Gilmore Girls. Follow your favorite soap stars road to stardom on SoapNet.com. She puts little bags into a bigger bag into yet another bag. One bag is all you need. Get Glad Force Flex, the bag that stretches to prevent rips and tears. She washes the trash before it goes into the trash. Don't give trash the special treatment. Get Glad Force Flex, the bag that stretches to prevent rips and tears. <laughs> what you doing, little bite? Trying to be big like you, Dad. You're so good at keeping everyone full and focused with your fiber. <laughs> but you already are great at doing that. Really? Sure, you're made with fiber just like me. But best of all, you're the perfect size for smaller kids. Give your little ones Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats Little Bites cereal in chocolate and now original flavor. They're an excellent source of fiber packed in a smaller size. Oh, it's original Little Bite. We're off to practice keeping them full and focused. Yeah, we've got big shoes to fill. If you're struggling in this economy, perhaps it's time to consider the value of an online education. Herzing University presents a unique online experience. It's not just a place to earn a degree or diploma, it's a place to start a career. The caring faculty and staff at Herzing make sure you get the support you need, including graduate employment assistance. So even though you're taking classes online, you're never alone. Download a free career information guide at chooseherzing.com or give us a call today, 888-345-5137. Did you know a problem in your heart can cause a stroke in your brain? It's true. An irregular heartbeat called atrial fibrillation, or AFib, can make a blood clot form here in your heart. 
that can break free and go straight to your brain, or can cause a serious stroke. Having atrial fibrillation gives you a five times greater risk of stroke than if you didn't have it. Strokes that are twice as likely to be deadly or severely disabling as other types of strokes. If you or someone you care for have atrial fibrillation, even if you're already taking medication, there are still important things you'll want to know. For a free interactive book, call 1-877-799-AFib or log on to afibstroke.com. Learn more about the connection between atrial fibrillation and strokes and get advice on how to live with AFib. And with this valuable information in your hand, talk to your doctor. Call 1-877-799-AFib today. Sorry to disappoint you, kiddo. These are not the newspapers. They're taking pictures of everybody that comes in just as a record. See? As I said. Too, I'm sure. I'm sorry. I've only borrowed them. I thought you discarded them. Discarded why? Because they're a little worn? Is that why they appeal to you? I needed something fancy and pretty to show up here in. You'll get them back. I only borrowed them. What are you doing here anyway when your baby's home crying her eyes out? I had to come. And I have a very good reason for being here. Barry, I need to find Joe. You want to see Joe? <laughs> I'll take it. See? Thank you. So long, Kimberly. What are you, the farewell committee? You're supposed to be at the door greeting people. No, 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 here we go. There he is. I said I'd take you to him. Do you ain't read through the Ryan Act? Yeah. She doesn't like competition. Or some competition if you don't like my side. So. Thank you. What is this, bro? Wait, no. Fabulous. No. Joe. Joe. Hi, Kim. See you. Thank you. I don't want to interrupt your work. Joe, can we talk alone? Sure. Uh, you're looking well. Your motherhood seems to agree with you. Thank you. How's the new baby doing? Oh, she's terrific, Joe. That's, as a matter of fact, that's why I came here tonight. About my baby. My babies need so many things. I never imagined how much. Food, baby clothes, babysitters. I have to support my baby, Joe. I have to make some money and take you. Um, I'm asking you for a job. It's all right now. Hmm? No more crying. You're a good girl. Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I was you could come over, Dr. Bolak. Oh, and you feel better too now that Daddy's here, don't you? She's a sweet girl. Well, we better be on our way. But I'll send your wife on home just as soon as she returns. Uh, thank you very much, Mrs. Shaw. Goodbye, Dr. Bolak. Oh, bye, Arlie. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. <laughs> 